What can we learn about uh, lessons about the Savior through Jonah's experience in the well? And what does that teach us about the real purpose of the scriptures and what they're trying to lead us to? I, I, I guess that example of Jonah in the, inside the whale, just repenting. Of course, we all try to imagine that. What is the application for me is that we have some time to do that every week. We don't have to be inside the fish, <laughs> but I try to take advantage of the sacrament time. Every Sunday during sacrament time is the time that I kind of go, kind of what Jonah did, reviewing my life here and there, and uh, what was good, what was not so good, how can I do better, how can I serve better, and how can I be a better instrument in the Lord's hand. And he asks us in, in, in the sacrament prayer that we remember him always. And, and the experience of Jonah was that. He kind of reconsidered, repented, and committed mm -hmm. to do what the Lord had asked him to do. Well, Christ right. himself talked about the, you know, the sign of Jonah. I mean, you know, he, he himself prophesied, of, of course, that, that his three days in the grave uh, the, the Jonah's time was, was prophetic or, or prefigured uh, what Christ would do. And of course, uh, you know, J Jonah came out with kind of a new lease on life, right? Uh, <laughs> that's what Jesus did for every single one of us. He comes out of the grave on the third day and gives new life to all of us. I love that. Thank you so much. Sister Camargo, any thoughts? Yes, I was trying to mix these two thoughts, <laughs> about the sacrament, the moment that we are there. For me, to partake of the sacrament is the top, because I'm really eating, representing the bread, the body and the blood of my Savior. So, Jonah's being inside the whale, Christ inside the tomb. The sacrament is our moment with the Lord.